What's going on guys? We are back for another episode on Middleburg Hay and Cattle. And today we are going to work on getting the old International cleaned up. Get some of this lime off of her and get her prepared for what we're going to be doing next. we got to do that spraying on the grass field we just finished baling. Um, I did get rid of our 560M baler. Um, the bales are just causing a problem. So uh, we're going to get one of the traditional balers and see what we can do about that. <clears throat> um, we are going to have to sell something here pretty soon. Um, we're getting kind of low on money and I don't really want to get anything from the bank. Because it's going to cost way too much money. So we got this nice pressure washer here. It's a wash station and cost us a thousand bucks. Wasn't too bad. I'm actually going to go in here and turn this off. We don't need to be wasting diesel. It's going to sit here for a minute anyway, and then we can talk to you and not have such loud noises. I know you guys are probably saying, you got sunflowers right there. Why don't you harvest them to get you some money? And the problem with that is, is it would cost me more to lease a harvester than it would to just not do it. Like, I wouldn't gain any profit off of it. So we're not going to be doing that today. Um, if I keep having issues with the bales after we get a different baler, and they're actually standard game size bales, we might have to try a different front end loader. Maybe that's what's doing it. As I was loading the bales, it was just, uh, the bales were just sliding off. Even when that was tilted up like this, they just slide up and try to fall off the bale. So, what we're probably going to do today is take a quick look, see what we can do for a sprayer. Oh, look at that cheap tractor. That might be worth it. I know I just said we weren't going to spend any more money, but for $9,000 to get a 105 horsepower tractor, like that could help us a bunch. I don't know what we'd do with it exactly. We'll just hold off because we've got pretty powerful tractors now. Um, so we want to take a look at the dealership here and look at some sprayers. I don't know what we got for good sprayers that would be somewhat cheap. Those are not cheap, 52000 We just need something that will go on the back. So something like that maybe. Uh, 26000 for that one. That's a little pricey. I mean, but that's the best we're going to do. 26000 About as good as we're going to get. Or we could lease it. We could get the Convernalin for twenty six. We can get the Kubota. I think we'll get the Convernalin because it's already matching our... Uh, color scheme with the international we're not keeping it or anything so we'll just we'll just get that one get the biggest working width we can get 28 meters we don't need weeding and we'll just lease it what's that going to cost us two grand to lease it so they'll go ahead and deliver that to the field for us um we'll meet you down there and we'll get spraying on this thing what's going on guys we are back for another episode on middleburg hay and cattle and today we are going to work on getting the old international cleaned up, get some of this lime off of her and get her prepared for what we're going to be doing next. We've got to do that spraying on the grass field we just finished baling. Um, I did get rid of our 560M baler. Um, the bales are just causing a problem. So uh, we're going to get one of the traditional balers and see what we can do about that. <clears throat> Um, we are going to have to sell something here pretty soon. Um, we're getting kind of low on money and I don't really want to get anything from the bank because it's going to cost way too much money. So we got this nice pressure washer here. It's a wash station and cost us a thousand bucks. Wasn't too bad. I'm actually going to go in here and turn this off. We don't need to be wasting diesel. It's going to sit here for a minute anyway and then we can talk to you and not have such loud noises. I know you guys are probably saying, you got sunflowers right there, why don't you harvest them to get you some money? And the problem with that is, is it would cost me more to lease a harvester than it would to just not do it. Like, I wouldn't gain any profit off of it. So we're not going to be doing that today. Um, if I keep having issues with the bales after we get a different baler, and they're actually standard game size bales... We might have to try a different front end loader. Maybe that's what's doing it. As I was loading the bales, it was just, 
uh, the bales were just sliding off. Even when that was tilted up like this, they just slide up and try to fall off the bale. So what we're probably going to do today is take a quick look, see what we can do for a sprayer. Oh, look at that cheap tractor. That might be worth it. I know I just said we weren't going to spend any more money, but for $9,000 to get a 105 horsepower tractor, like that could help us a bunch. I don't know what we'd do with it exactly. We'll just hold off because we've got pretty powerful tractors now. Um, so we want to take a look at the dealership here and look at some sprayers. I don't know what we got for good sprayers that would be somewhat cheap. Those are not cheap, 52000 We just need something that'll go on the back. So something like that maybe. Uh, 26000 for that one. That's a little pricey. I mean, but that's the best we're going to do. 26000 About as good as we're going to get. Or we could lease it. We could get the Convernalin for twenty six. We can get the Kubota. I think we'll get the Convernalin because it's already matching our... Uh, color scheme with the international we're not keeping it or anything so we'll just we'll just get that one get the biggest working width we can get 28 meters we don't need weeding and we'll just lease it what's that going to cost us two grand to lease it so they'll go ahead and deliver that to the field for us um we'll meet you down there and we'll get spraying on this thing all right guys we made it down here to the other field i got a buddy who's going to help me out spraying this field because i forgot we got this uh, swather down here that we need to get loaded up in the truck and hauled back to the house. So we're going to get this thing loaded up on the trailer here. First time using this trailer to haul equipment, so we'll see how she does. And get this thing on up here. Hopefully he can get that thing figured out. I didn't even get a chance to run through it really. We're going to check out here and see if we can even fit We're going to have to back it up, but I don't think... Yeah, we're not going to fit. So we're just going to have to road this one home. Come back and get the truck later. That sucks. I was really hoping it'd fit on that trailer. We're going to have to... At some point, get a semi and a low loader to be able to haul this thing. But I mean, just look at this beautiful country. You got cows there in the island on the creek bed there. Seen a man on a boat doing some fishing down the creek earlier. That was pretty cool. What's that trail go to? Oh, there's a field in there. Might have to pick that up at some point. We're mainly going to be focusing on hay and cattle, obviously, by the title of this series. I mean, that's just what we do. That's our livelihood. It's what we started out doing anyway, so we'll see how it fares. You know, moving to a new city and getting all set up it's rough in the start we've got a loan from the bank we've got just massive bills and not a whole lot of ways of making money right now the cows haven't even you know they're like in their first month so we haven't even preg checked them yet to see if the AI worked uh, hopefully they're all pregnant and we can get us some good calves take to the feedlot and get some money uh, we are selling some hay here and there but you know, we're getting into winter. The cutting season's going to be about over. I mean, we get too desperate. We can cut these long parts of this driveway here and get us some extra hay. But I've been kind of holding on to that, hoping if we need it for the cows, we'll have it. At some point, I do want to get to feeding our cows TMR just because it's, it's better for them. It helps them stay healthier and all that good stuff so hopefully we can get them on that kind of system and just cost a lot of money to get a feed mixing wagon and plus we'd have to have a bale wrapper to make silage and uh, get straw from somewhere we're not doing anything that produces straw at the moment I'm just gonna park this here we're gonna get this thing all cleaned up and we'll see you guys in just a bit all right guys we are back jim had to run and go take care of something with his family doctor's appointment or something so we're just gonna pick up where he left off just got a couple more passes here and we should be doing pretty good <coughs> let's go ahead and look see what time it is we need a there we go but we're doing all right 
got a precision farming monitor there telling us how much nitrogen we're putting on. Uh, this field is pretty rough on it, but it should be good for grass. Like, grass don't take that much, so should be doing okay. And apparently, I need to get way over. Like, way over hanging over there or something. But yeah, we're just getting stuff done here on the farm. Um, not too sure what else is going to be happening in today's video because we're getting to the end of it. Not much more to do. We do need to do something with that sunflower field. Uh, probably just till it under. And then uh, figure out something else to do with it. I really don't want to plant a grass field there because if I do then it's going to be hard to mow and it's not that much grass but I mean it could be something to help us out a little extra grass not too hard to maintain so it I don't know it might be worth it we'll just have to see but uh yeah we got to get this field fertilized keep moving on moving up keeping her between the rows not really rows with grass is there so yeah we're doing a good good thing here on the farm getting everything going hopefully we didn't bite off more than we can chew with getting this extra field I mean it's really going to help us a lot uh, if we get to the next cutting and we still got plenty of hay then we might sell some of the older hay get rid of that stuff help bring in some extra cash I mean hay's not the most expensive thing ever but we'll see how that works it's weird to me it wasn't showing any spray there but it's spraying maybe it's not applying because it doesn't sense the nitrogen needed it's spraying now yeah weird so we got it going um, hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know this is only the second episode, but I really enjoy doing it for you guys. Uh, if you are enjoying it, just hit that like button. It helps us out a lot with the algorithm. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here. We'd love to have you in the community. Um, and if, uh, you know, you guys want to hang around, we're going to keep pumping these videos out. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be taking a break from a farm. We're going to be headed to Kansas to do some pheasant hunting. I know that's a long trip but uh it'll be fun and uh yeah that's about it we're gonna get these last couple passes finished off and we'll see you guys in a bit all right guys we got some things going on so i decided i'm at least gonna cultivate cultivate these so if these sunflowers under and while i'm doing that i got jim out there he came back just had to run the wife to a dentist appointment so he came back and uh, he's seeding that other field, field 43, and he's getting it ready. He's planting grass in it for us. So we're going to get this thing all loaded up and ready to go. We're going to lift it up. And then we're going to unfold it. And we're just going to get cultivating. I brought the truck and everything up here. got everything washed off for us. So we're not looking so bad. Got to have nice equipment. Even though it's old, we still want it to be nice. So we got that all cleaned up. Just look at that creek, man. I'm going to have to do some fishing one of these days. Take you guys with me on a fishing trip. I won't have to go far. It's right in the backyard. But, I mean, we got to get this cultivated. Get it out of our eyesight because it just looks horrible. Can't stand the look of it. I mean... Whoever owned this sunflower field before just didn't take care of it. They left the weeds in it and all that stuff. So we're going to get rid of this make it prettier around here. We might end up planting this grass. Um, since we're going to be doing mainly hay and silage and stuff in the future, we need all the grass we can get. So we might not be doing any conventional crops. So I have to find another farmer around here. I haven't really got to know a whole lot of them yet. Jim's an old friend from high school he just happened to be living up in this area he's trying to be an actor but he does farm work on the side so works out for me just being new up here and uh it's a nice little 
feeling of home having somebody you know around so we'll get to know some farmers or something see if we can find anybody with some straw and uh, see if we can't get loaded up with some of that but this old international man she gets the job done she just doesn't get it done very fast so we're doing what we can she's pulling her she's just not pulling her very good um, <clears throat> I don't know what else I got to tell you guys. I mean, it's kind of slow going here at first. And then once we get more cows, it's going to pick up. I mean, we'll have calving season and all that good stuff. Um, wish I could actually show you the calves, but y'all know the story with that. They don't exist. So we'll just have to keep a, an eye out on the, on the feedlot there and make sure everybody's happy and healthy and we're getting babies. But, yeah, you can see Jim back there behind us. He's going through the field, getting everything all planted up. So that'll give us three fields of grass. This one I wouldn't even count as a field, but if we plant it, that'll give us a little extra grass. And hopefully we can get these guys kind of on a rotating schedule where we can cut the majority of it all at the same time. I know at least two of the fields should be on the same cycle, so that'd work out. Don't want to do them all at once, because then we might be a little overloaded, actually. But we're going to crack on, get this field done, and uh, we'll come back to you guys and show you the finished product. Well, guys, we were just about done, and we broke a dang shank under there. It's just a shear bolt, popped it loose, so we got to go pick up a bag of shear bolts at the dealer. That's <coughs> just... Always something, ain't it? We'll go by and see if Jim's still doing all right. We'll have to see what's going on with him. But So we're going to head up to the dealer, and we'll see you guys when we get there. Well, guys, it ain't the dealer, but Fox Farm had some shear bolts. I was headed out of the farm there, and a guy stopped and talked to me, wanted to know who bought the new piece of land here. And uh, I was telling him about what we got going on, and what had just happened to our cultivator and he said run up here to fox farms it's right next door i mean there's our farm right over there in the trees and he said uh, they got all kinds of bolts he said go up there and get you some so we're gonna walk in here and get some bolts and then head back to the farm and get back at her before it gets dark on us what the heck is going on come on jim what are you doing just parked over here in the bushes or what Uh, Jim? Since when did you get boobs? Well, we're gonna sort this out real quick. <coughs> Figure out where the hell Jim is. And, uh, get this tractor back a going. Well, she ain't no Jim, but we got her turned around. Hopefully, she can keep it going down the road. Holy, what? interesting flash flood just came through holy crap we're gonna have to tell her to stop hey 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 she can't hear shit on that thing hey don't you see the freaking grounds flooded like holy crap stop oh well, let's get this thing up out of the mud. That's a lot of water. I hope this planter is going to be okay. Get this thing backed over here on the grass. Hopefully it'll do alright there. Golly! Well, that'll be good for the other two grass crops at least. Hmm. I mean, it might be too much water. It might drown out our grass crops. Well, I don't know what we're going to do now. Hopefully this truck's not too loud for you guys and you can hear me okay. Hopefully the farm's not underwater. Oh, crap. What the heck is going on here? Hey. What are you doing here? 
Oh, man. The whole farm's underwater. What are we going to do? I mean, it's not that deep, but... And that's not good for our hay. I mean, the creek filled up fast. Look, look at that. Man. Yeah, it's about ankle deep on the cows. They don't seem to be bothered by it at all. Well, guys, we're going to get this figured out. Figure out whose tractor is parked in the middle of my bridge. And uh, get the shear bolt back on the international there. And hopefully get the planting going again. Man, oh, man. I can't get in it either. It's locked. Well, guys, we're going to get this figured out. And we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, guys, the rain has gone. The water seeped in pretty good. I mean, we were pretty dry around here, so soaked that water up pretty nice. Um, it has been a few hours in the sun. Everything's kind of dried up a little bit. Luckily, we're able to still be out here in the field. we got the planter going again next door. Hopefully, they can keep going without any issues. If not, we're about done here anyway, so we're going to get this all finished up. and uh get everything planted but i think that's going to be a wrap for today we had uh plenty of eventful things happen to us i mean we had a lisa sprayer get that done we broke a shear bolt on the cultivator i mean it flooded out of nowhere like i knew it was supposed to rain but they weren't calling for four to six inches like and that came within an hour so hopefully we don't get too many more of those. We're going to have to build the old, uh, haul in some dirt and build the old island up a little bit. Because that was not good. Cows were underwater. Freaking tractors. Luckily it was just up to the tires on the tractors. But, I mean, it could have been bad. But, yep, we're going to wrap it up there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Middleburg Hay and Cattle. And, uh, we're going to catch you guys in the next one. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. There'll be plenty more of these videos to come. Like I said, nothing this weekend. I'll be in Kansas pheasant hunting. And uh, then we'll come back. Hopefully we'll have some grass to cut or something. We'll see you guys then. Peace.